The question I couldn't even formulate was looking to take shape. It was an invisible presence. Whenever I would play, it was with me. Whenever I would open the door, it was with me. It was with me at school. It didn't have a voice. It was made more of absence than of presence. I found this book that tells the story of more than 500 African descent actors and entertainers in the Italian cinema. Cujo, in the evil language of my father, means born on Monday. And in fact, it is true. I was born on a Monday, but not in Ghana. I was born in Italy. And now that I've been living in New York for a few years, my focus is on the future. Suddenly, without any warning, while I was walking, that voice materialized and spoke. You have been absent from your own imagination since you were born. In an instant, my life flashed before my eyes, and I realized that in every memory of Italian film that I had, there was this common thread. There weren't any black characters. I continued to read that book that I got in Bologna as if it were a loop playing inside of me. Then I went to a spot on Lennox Avenue. Not even the music could drown out the question. Okay, I'm living here and I'm going to the Schomburg Center, a library with a special focus on African diaspora. In 1915, over 100 years ago, a black actor appeared for the first time in an Italian movie, Domenico Gailo's film Salambo. This actor, however, was not acknowledged in the film credits. Every trace of Italian colonialism in Ethiopia, Somalia and Eritrea during the first part of the 20th century has been erased from popular memory in Italy. <laughs> 